Hey everyone, Nick back. Uh, today's gonna be the fourth video in our two week video series. Uh, today I'm gonna discuss why it's not a matter of if you'll be hacked, but it's more of a question of when. So a big problem that we're having in the IT industry uh, is a certain numbness that small business owners feel towards these sort of breaches. Uh, they read every week about a new breach um, at a big company or at a big city government. And that creates a certain mindset um, that they think that, you know, this happens to these big companies um, because they have all the money, they have all the data. Why would a hacker come after me? Why would I have to pay for security? Um, there's really no reason to. But it's exactly this mindset that in 2019, uh, Verizon published their data breach report and they found that 43% of all breaches do occur to small businesses. Um, this mindset that they have, um, it leads to them either implementing little security or no security. And that's the reason why hackers go after that because they know it's gonna be easy. Uh, so just as an example, uh, when we do a security assessment, uh, sometimes we see in businesses that they have the router that was supplied to them by their internet provider. Uh, this is a big problem. Uh, these routers that are given to you, they're designed for home use. They're not designed for business use. Um, hackers practice on these routers because they know it's the most widely available and therefore it's gonna be the easiest to uh, get in. Um, so um, business grade routers, such as you know a Sophos or a Sonic Wall, they offer a lot of things. One thing they offer is better intrusion protection. Uh, number two, they, um, they're designed for constant traffic flow. These home routers really, when, you, or when you're at home and you're on the internet, you're not constantly on it. Uh, it's more intermittent, but when you're at a business, uh, you have a number of employees, you have yourself that are constantly on the internet from nine to five. Um, home routers really can't handle that. So if you're having slow internet speeds at your office, that is, that may be a reason why. Um, another thing is um, business routers can be configured by your IT department to do certain things like uh, remote VPN access. Um, that's, you know, if you want to work uh, from home, but you want to get on your, uh, your, work, your work computer, you can VPN in and you're allowed to do work from home. Um, yeah, they do cost more business routers, but the better intrusion protection and the fact that um, hackers don't really have uh, the resources to practice on them, it should be a no-brainer to switch over. Uh, when you think of small business breaches, you should think of it like this. If someone wants to rob a place, they have two choices. They can either rob a bank or they can rob a convenience store. Uh, there's three factors that usually go into it. Uh, number one is the odds of getting away. Number two is how difficult the robbery would be. And number three, how much money can they, can they steal? Uh, sure, if, you know, if you're a seasoned robber, you can go after the big bank, make a lot of money. But for most robbers, they're going to go after the convenience store. Because number one, it's easier to get, to get away. And number two, it's easier to threaten uh, whoever has the money. Uh, they're not making as much money on each robbery, but you know it doesn't matter what you make if you get caught. Uh, so yes, the best hackers in the world will go after the governments. They will go after big businesses. Uh, but 90% of hackers, guessing, will be going after small businesses like yours. Uh, main reason is they know you have minimal security, and they know if you have minimal security, odds are you don't have data backups. So if they encrypt everything, uh, odds are you're going to pay them to get that uh, data back. Uh, that's it for this video. I'll be back again tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you later.